Hello and welcome back dear friends, it's me Odo. I'm back in my campaign of Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. Um, last time, or uh, the last few times, uh, we were strolling through the Crusader camp and doing stuff. And in between episodes, I was talking to Sociel. He's the, he's the cleric guy um, who came with the queen. And he wants us to accompany him to somewhere, wherever. Head in priest. So he's a beautiful guy. <laughs> As we know from Pathfinder Kingmaker, uh, where we had some troubles with uh, Shelin Paladins who wanted to recruit our dear Valerie. Mm. This guy seems nice. He's okay, I think. I don't know what to do with him. We should bring we we sh we should bring him somewhere. Okay, I think I talk to everyone in Yeah. I think I talk to everyone in the camp. Well, I'm not sure. Sorry. I forgot, yeah, I, I will, before I leave, I will sell stuff here. But there are these guys. Who's he going? Did I talk to him? Ah, I know. He's the he's the guy who can give me some. Do you know anything about the pathfinder named Damien Dismar? Let me think. Dismar, Dismar. Definitely heard the name before. Ah, Finia. Just just forgot. That's my weapon. <laughs> Finian, the talking weapon. Of you have. I'm a Pathfinder too. So you're the chief in these lands now. What about Lady Ori? When I left for the wound, she had just taken up the position. He likes mines, talking weapon, and chuckles sadly. I'm afraid Ori perished during the Third Crusade. Yes, now I remember. Finny and Disma went missing in the wound at the end of the Second Crusade name has been on the lists of the Fallen for a while. Here I am, alive and well. Write it right in your lists that I'm back and soon I'll file a detailed report about everything that happened to me. Finian's voice is full of joy. I knew it was a misunderstanding, but now everything will return to normal. I need to write to my folks. They probably think I'm dead. Hilo shakes his head sadly. Poor lad. But such is the fate of a pathfinder. We, we face the unknown, but sometimes the unknown wins, and our mind cannot take it. Which influential crusaders did you save from the spin of nightmares? What's that? I've been hunting the spin of nightmares for over a year. My agents, by that time, I'd created a proper network, reported to me that she'd returned to Nerusian. I immediately suspected that she was planning a great atrocity. I should start my clock. Ha. Huh. Before I do something else. I'd learned all too well that the spinner was master of illusions and charms. That's why I never left the house without this. He would take some monocle from his pocket and put it on carefully. This is the Eye of Truth. I all, and it allows me to see through illusions. My friend got it from the priests of Nephis. However, neither this monocle nor my network of agents were adequate to prevent the attacks 
and we were nearly too late. Spin of nightmares decided to strike at this cruciform cathedral. They had gathered to celebrate the victory of the first crusade. It was a great holiday, and there was a lavish ceremony at the cathedral. An influential priest, Altokritus, was in charge of the festivities. They were intending to crown him with a tiara, a symbol of his high status. But the sacred tiara had been replaced. The spinner had obtained an insutilis, a sentient and rather ominous cephalopod from the other end of the world. She'd raised it from an elder and trained it carefully, and she cast an illusion on it so that everyone would see it as a tiara. The moment its shell was placed on Antoclitus' head, the cephalopod would release its tentacles and penetrate the priest's skull. Its poison would seep into his brain and it would seize control over Antoclitus' dead body. Fortunately, we were able to stop this madness in time. I spotted the spin of nightmares in the crowd, chased her down, and we ended off up crossing swords on the roof of the cathedral. I nearly defeated her, but she fled upon a giant stallion, which was able to run across the air as if it were on the ground. I was so close to catching her. She'd suffered a setback, but I let her escape. Mm, yeah, whatever. Tell me about your confrontation. No, I don't want to hear this again. And I don't want to know anything about him. All tales, I have to go. Map. So, where's the guy when, where I can sell stuff? Like here. Oh. Still, there is a blacksmith. I didn't talk to these guys, did I? Mysterious elf. You again, soldier. Wait, what? Vilsoak arms. Ah, there we have a trader. Ah, the quartermaster. I mean, what you have. Let's see. I'll sell you everything. What's that? Silvering, sold, stuff, sold. Oh. What's that? Interesting. Inventory. Um. Ah. There, this guy is. There is Sorcier. He joined our party. Interesting. He's a priest, so he can heal. I'm pretty sure about that. What does he have for a weapon? I believe. Really? Didn't think that someone would fight me with the heat. Okay, let's give him stuff. Like... Scrolls and stuff. Um, how about heroism? That's something you can do. Enlarge person, 
find traps. Kill my bones. Why not? Curse of weakness. Ah, why not? And let's see. Blast weapon. Sound. Okay, where's Ninio? There she is. She can write down all these. I'm not sure if she should learn all of these. Cause fear. Now why not Scorpion Ray? Seamless ability. I don't think that I will learn this. As it's called Stunning Barrier. Hmm. This is personal. I don't think that I need that. Resist Acid. Resist Electricity. I, I won't learn these anyway. These will always be better with scrolls. Yeah, why not? That's okay. I added the sonic damage. This would be probably better. Hypnotism, that's a good spell, probably. Hmm. We'll check. And learn such things as well, aren't you? Crucif touch, that's good. Um, yeah, for you the barrier would be good, I think, because you are in the in fight. Vanish is also nice. And this is also good. Mm -hmm. hmm. Haste would be okay, wouldn't it? What's that? Ray of sickening. Nah. Color spray. Mage armor. That's good. That's good for you. Okay, Sorcier, what can you do? You have strength 16, dexterity 10, con 14, wisdom 19, Phew. charisma 14. Level 6 Cleric. Persuasion, Law, Religion, Perception. Okay. General Positive Energy. What feats do you have? Selected Channel. Extra Channel. So he's also a good healer. Like Darren. Okay. Good. Okay, let's just say we'll leave this place. Okay, um, we'll take people with us. 
who do we take with us? Should we take this guy with us? Yep. She or she? Yeah, that's it. Take the wizard. What is this soft, kind man doing in a war? I don't know. Let's take him with us and see how he's doing. We can enter Knabras. Is this the Crusade starting out? Okay. Nice. You can now control armies on the global map. Ah, we can give him mythic rank. Winning battles against demon forces will provide you with a number of benefits such as resources to help your economy. Relics which can turn be can be turned into powerful new items. The party captured enemy fortifications that previously blocked the advance of both your party and your armies. Um, okay, whatever. Uh, enemy armies differ in their strength, which is displayed as a number next to the army's name. By hovering over the enemy army, you can learn more about his its composition and the reward it is garnering. You can switch between party management and army command. Okay. Ah, that's here. Um, modes. By clicking the banners at the top of the screen in army command mode, you can select armies by either using the panel on the left or clicking the figures on the map. Much like your party, armies use roads to move around the map. To move an army, must an army must spend movement points, which can be restored by resting for one day. Don't show this tutorial. Or well, yeah, well, show it. It's okay. Um, army, and yeah, okay. Uh, the army mode is a bit like uh, like what's it called? Oh. It's a bit like Heroes of Might and Magic. That's a sign of general. Um, I was looking at uh, at something um, at some tips for for the crusade. Um, and it said I should take a, a general who is a master of maneuver and best to start with a um with a magician because they have more um magical power to do magic okay defensive formation what does this do all units in a free times free area gain a plus two bonus to AC and receive a minus two penalty to attack for one round. Disability is a stratagem. Okay. Hmm. Cause fear. That's a spell. Mind affecting fear. Target unit receives. A minus 20 plus power divided by 5 penalty to combat rail. This is a divine spell. Okay, defensive training. Plus 2 bonus to a steeper level of this field. Okay. I think such things are good. 
probably. Scorching Ray, Spellcraft are like. Ah, Spellcraft is not the. Uh, plus 4 bonus to power per level of this feat. Ah, this is the reason why he, she has 16 power instead of 12, like these two. I heard it's easy to just close it and do again, and then there are new ones. Ha! <laughs> Interesting. Okay. There's a, there's a, pr there's a magician who has Master of Maneuver. Master of Maneuver is good because with Master of Maneuver, you can have one unit per level of, uh, per, per level of Master of Maneuver more in your army. Normally you are, um, I think you can have three units, different units in there. And with this, you can have four different units in there. Uh, later on it, well, yeah, there it is. We have an army size of one of three. We have some footmen. We have movement points, army strength, yeah. Okay, there he's gone. We, we know about her already. Defensive formation and master of maneuver. I mean, we could ignore the things that the, the, the tips gave, but I think the master of maneuver will be good. And I think magicians are also quite good because of the possible power they give. I'm not sure if a uh, ranger wouldn't be also quite good. They probably give some bonuses for um, ranged units, probably. Offensive training. All units in the army have a plus two bonus to damage per level of this speed. Okay. Nah. There he is again. She also a master of maneuver. Weakening trap. This activate the activating unit and then poisons the activating unit and inflicts a minus two plus power divided by twenty penalty to attack for two rounds. Okay. What's a flare? Hmm. All units become confused for one round. This is nice. Confusion means that they have a 25% chance to act normally, 25% chance to do nothing, 25% chance to inflict damage on themselves, and a 25% chance to uh, do damage to their uh, the next unit they stand to or something like that. And this could also be an allied unit. I mean, this guy uh, said you should take this guy. But probably she's also... What's that army size increase? Plus one. Ah, this is because of this. What's that? That's the infirmary size. That's like, um, yeah. Let's let's take her because we. Or should we just look around and see what we have else? I don't think that defensive training is so important. Attack formation is also not too important, I think. Mm. 
Heroism could be good, I think. Target unit gains plus one bonus to saving throws. It costs four energy. And the uh, damage reduction one for three rounds. Charge formation, interesting. Good. Oh, there's a fox. We have great. Yeah. There are probably three guys who have this master of maneuver one. Um, one of the soldier types, one of the ranger types, and one of the sorcerer types. What's that? Explosive trap and intimidation all enemy units have a minus 15 penalty to combat morale per level of this feat hmm. yeah we already know all of these there are not too many of these guys yeah let's take her why not Except with twenty energy power, what's energy? They're special. Can we do this only once per, per... Ah, this is a siege ability. What does the siege ability do? Yeah, we can have four different types of armies. How can we... How can we buy troops? We have a moral. Okay, let's let's move around with these guys. Should we enter Canabras first? Is there anything we can still do in Canabras? Ah, see? We don't want to move forward. We go just inside the city again. Ah, <laughs> this was outside, <laughs> I see. So you want to go there. The path has no location, location is unknown. Okay. Um, Yeah, let's enter the location. This is the... Okay, time's up. Mm. This is the Crusader camp where also the... Oh, so we're here again. Can we just, I mean, oh, 
Huch. Was fast. Message from the for the commander. Okay. A knight in a sim in simple armor lowers his voice. I am the queen's bodyguard. She sent me to tell you she's arrived at camp incognito as planned. You can find her where the minor knightly orders are kept. Come if you wish to speak to her. Uh, whatever. Our soldiers, Queen Galfrey. There she is. There is Queen Galfrey in a hoodie. <laughs> As promised, I entered the ranks incognito along with a new bodyguard. I have introduced myself as a train, an old friend of yours. I'm a knight of a minor order, the Green Crows. We shall see how long it takes Anivia to sniff me out. How does it feel living for so long beyond all natural limits? You're over a hundred years old, my queen, aren't you? long my life was not mine it was the decision of the church of Iomede son orchid elixirs uh, have been paid for by the church priests determined that I was needed in this dark times both as a ruler and the chosen paladin of Iomede I accepted their decision and the great responsibility it entailed why did you entrust me with Darren I saw such a wonderful opportunity to teach the Count a lesson and just couldn't resist. Okay, honestly, I expected you to dismiss him forthwith. The Count would have been forced to return to court, a laughing stock. It would have been a truly sobering experience. There is nothing more disgraceful for a Mandavian nobleman than to be discharged like that. Okay, that's not nice of her. I think she is lawful good. Darren Arende. He has he was such a lovely child. His mother, Lady Silene, was one of the most gracious people I have ever met. She was amiable, yet decorous and truly kind. Bonds of kinship among the nobility are on the whole highly practical and <clears throat> only useful for forming alliances. Countess Arendi managed to become a true member of my family. I suppose that is why I spent so much time believing her son to be a better person than he actually was. His company is a heavy burden. Still, I must admit that I am quite pleased that you decided to keep him on as a companion. There is a small chance that once he has had a true taste of the crusade life, the Count will finally cease to mock the Crusaders as cynically as he is wont to do. Okay. Okay, I want to go. Good. Uh, let's continue on next time. Our time is up anyway. So, I hope you enjoyed it. See you soon. Bye.